Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Letter Squad? So I know you guys were saying you want, uh, you want some, I don't know, some conquest content, and so I'm gonna give it a shot here. Um, I'm normally what happens with conquest content is I'll queue it up. People will ask for it. They'll be like, oh, Sam, 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 conquest, conquest, conquest. You're going to go pro and spy two conquest, conquest. Let's see. Conquest, conquest. So I upload and then nobody watches. So, so it's normally not really worth it because especially like playing, uh, getting a conquest game can be very hit or miss. You know, I could spend 30 minutes to an hour getting this game and then we lose it and or maybe i'm not happy with my commentary or maybe i'm not happy with my gameplay and then i delete it and then i have to queue it again you know so uh conquest content is not as easy i mean if you're playing like casuals it's super easy but like in ranked when everyone's still trying to like really grind and shit like that it, it can be a little tough to get a good game but <coughs> but that's okay i want to try it out and uh you guys have been like actually begging me for it not only on stream, but also on YouTube. Uh, so if you don't know already, I am going to go, well, going to try to go pro in Smite 2. Uh, so I am going to be focusing my stream content mainly on Conquest. I don't know if YouTube content will change much at all. Uh, maybe some Conquest games here and there. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but even bigger news, Starting on February 16th, I'm going to be doing a subathon on Twitch. My first ever subathon. Uh, it's going to celebrate me basically being 10 years on Twitch. 10 years, a full decade on Twitch. I'm going to be doing my first ever subathon. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm super excited, but uh, if you don't know what a subathon is, I will start my stream with the timer for eight hours long and then every single um every single donation or subscription i get whether it's gifted or personal for the entire duration of the stream will extend the length of the stream so it could go an entire month long i'm capping the duration of the stream at one month uh because i don't want it to go longer than a month basically but um i don't think it'll go longer than like three or four days honestly all right so what are we working with a blue stone Jotun's sun wukong not bad <clears throat> very high damage and if he ever gets ganked however because i am warrior's axe plus round shield he really will not be doing much to me this clear is going to be a bit better than mine for sure for sure for sure okay he's going to focus the uh the totem which is completely fine like he can do that because again he's got blue stone so his clear is going to be better than mine uh so he's allowed to make that that totem play nice bone crusher good stuff so i am currently like i'm probably like top 100 in the world right now i'm 2200 mmr which doesn't sound like a lot but in in reset days it's it's quite a lot uh <laughs> Um, hello, Robin. I don't know if... Yeah, we ain't killing him. Good damage, though. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. You can go solo the XP of that. Or come split this with me. That's cool, too. Most junglers I know prefer to solo that because it's more XP than that. But, you know. I figured... He took the time to gank my lane. He didn't get the kill. Least he can do is get some XP out of it, but whatever. I'll take it. They'll kill that for me. Uh, I max my three when I play Bologna because it increases the duration of the disarm. <clears throat> so normally when I, what I try to do with my first back, by the way, I can never get the scepter, so I'm not even wasting my time with it. I can never... <clears throat> I can never get the scepter because he has a displacement ability and I do not so you know it's just a waste of time to try to get the scepter to be honest because like I said I don't know if you guys remember uh in yesterday's video but I mentioned that the person who stays in the circle for scepter the longest 
Uh, they're the ones that actually get uh, best stats here too. All right. All right. I just wanted to get the minions so I get a five. Be careful left. Um nice. Good stuff. Do we both live? Because if we both live, that's really big. That is very big. Let's go. I'm gonna back here real quick. I'm gonna teleport first because getting that that teleport cooldown uh up quicker is important and then i'm gonna back here with the full phalanx now he's not gonna auto attack a bunch obviously you know he's a wukong but um you know in team fights it's inevitable you're going to get auto attack smacked up so all right not bad for me i'm level six he's probably also level six if i have to guess once he clears this wave i don't think i've gotten much more XP than him. Oh, he's level five. Okay, so I'm actually I'm actually farming him. I'm farming, I'm farming. Nice. This is kind of a weird matchup because I I think that Bologna wins it, but Bologna doesn't win the clear. She just wins the fighting matchup, and you don't really have a fighting matchup until like, I don't know, the first few levels in, so. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of waste my time here. It's not, it's not a waste, but like, it's a weird use of time. Because I'm not going to be getting that XP for my minion wave, and instead what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna be getting the gold for my minion wave, and I'm sacking the, the totem. But, I'm getting that full back camp worth of XP and gold in order to get, uh, like, extend my lead further. And I got all the gold from that too, which isn't bad. So he's level six and I'm almost level eight. He'll hit level seven for sure this wave, but. Oh, I hate that that didn't, uh, that didn't hit him. All right, you're level s he's level six still. I'm level eight, holy crap. Go chill, 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 chill. Chill. All right, Bastet is definitely here. Okay, dude. On my way. On my way. And Merlin is here too. Here we come. Okay, Bastet and Merlin are all here. Attack, attack. Get him, get him, get him. No. No, he missed everything, man. Oh, Thoth missed too. And we didn't get the blue buff. That is actually tragic. Get my wave for me, please. Thank you, gamer. Now this has a killer spell. Actually tragic. When the enemy jungler is on your blue buff, it makes your life as a solo laner a living hell. I'll be honest with you. Because, like, not having blue buff... Because solo laners don't build mana. And if they do, they're going to be weaker in the late game. Because they're not building the stats they need. But, uh... It's going to be really hard for me to do much here, dude. I'll be honest. I'm not really looking forward to it. Um, he does do extra damage with his one on that. So I'm definitely not going to get that. Shell was one sec unlucky. Who's getting shit on? Hachi? He's not even getting that shit on. That's acceptable. That is acceptable feeding, in my opinion. I could kill him here, maybe. Alright, he's back in. <clears throat> he backed. He backed, Robin. Thanks for coming for the gank. I appreciate you, but he's not here. Oh, but you do get to snag that XP. 
Not bad. Robin is behind in jungle, probably just because this Bastet is on my blue consistently. If Bastet comes on blue now, I think she dies. Teleporter is going to be active here. It either is active or it's going to be active very soon. Uh, I probably... Yeah, I'll just take cooldown on this. So if you don't know what the totems do, the blue totem gives 10% cooldown. The purple totem gives attack speed. The uh, the yellow totem gives uh, pen. The green totem gives HP. And the red totem gives 10% ability lifesteal. Can I just yoink that? Nope, absolutely not. I mean, not bad, right? My three pokes were like over 200. All right, he's going to get the totem again. I mean, again, I'm not winning the clear battle here. And if I'm not winning the clear battle, I'm not getting the totem. Enemy missing middle. Be careful left. Oh, wait a second. This is up. I could definitely die here. Uh, yeah. All right. Who's ready for a drop party? I'm going to get ulted. I don't want to be altered by this guy. Because I don't I don't have alt up or anything. And if I get altered, I die because they have Merlin and Bastet here. Oh, there's the Merlin alt. Or the, the Ares alt. I mean... We're not doing we're not doing anything here. Yeah, man, I don't know. Their rotations are just like faster. They're just so much faster than my teams. Pretty much every every single rotation this entire game. This Bastet is just faster than my Robin. It really sucks he cleared my wave because I have teleport, but I guess I will keep teleport. Oh, you think he kills actually? Attack! Attack! Okay, he's gonna back out. All right. I don't see Bassett or Merlin on the map, by the way. Oh, that ROM is dead, bro. I really want to gank right. The problem is I don't want to lose farm. But we can do gold here. I want to be on this Merlin here. Bro. This Maui is not uh not having a good time, that's for sure. I don't think that I've seen this Maui hit an alt. At least not while I'm near him. Nice! Let's go, Maui! I take it all back. You're literally the best. Never mind. We suck. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Everyone rotated back. 
I'm two two two. I mean, it's not a terrible score line. What? How? Yeah, like I'm only two hundred two hundred fifty gold down from the Wukong, and he's three zero three. So I don't think it's that bad. But you got to defend gold for sure. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> um. I do want to go Void Shield. I'm definitely going to go Beads, by the way. Like, it's not even close. Oh, do we get Tower, actually? No, we almost got Tower. I just feel like... I don't think the Merlin is doing all that much yet. The Merlin will chunk late game because he's going Tablet Build. But I feel like that Bastet is doing so much. That Bastet is everywhere. And I've not really seen Robin do too well in a team fight. I'm just going to drop alt here because uh, like not alting does nothing. And then I'm going to hit him because I'm never going to get the uh, the thing anyways. So I'm just trying to focus my efforts on poking him out with my kins. I missed. Um, I mean, I could probably TP right again. Maybe kill that Rom. How big is he? He does have crit chance. He might, he might just shred me, to be honest. What's my Hachi building? Oh, same thing. Just Devil's Rage. He's just going Devil's Rage DB, dude. <laughs> and the weird thing, I don't even hate it. Oh, uh, let's go more attack speed here instead. I feel like they might be doing pyro. I don't see any of them on the map. Yep, I was right. I was right, man. I wish I wasn't. All right, he's, he's busy over there getting my totems. I already have his totems, so that's fine. I'll just grab this. There's no way you want to fight me. Dude, this Wukong is full damage, bro. Oh, all attack. Oh, Bastet's here too. Okay. Dude, when is Bastet not here, bro? To be honest with you. Oh, shit. I did not even know I was pulled. I didn't even know I was pulled. That was a terrible ult by me. Yo, kill that Bastet. No ults. No alts. Big stun. Nice. Where's Hachi? Get him, Hachi. Hachi, no! Oh, he's not going to kill him. It's not happening. Oh, do you kill this guy, though? Oh, no, you, you get killed by him. Lovely. Why? Why did he do that? Why did he do that, dude? I guess the best set was on a killing spree, so it's worth trading your life. If you're not on a killing spree and they are, I guess it is worth. I'm so behind any kill I can get is huge. Yeah, that's true. That's true, but it, like defend gold though. But like defend gold though, because they're going to be there. I guess I see them on map. Um. Maui's just blasting. 
Maui is just blasting off. I mean, Thoth late game can go unbelievably big, to be honest. Uh, he already has my tower, so he's just going to stay in mid. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Get this. Dude, we should always defend gold, dude. Always defend gold. Don't just sack it for no reason. I don't like that at all, man. <clears throat> it's the only downside of playing a solo lane, I feel like, is that I can't always be there. And if I do show up, like, stuff needs to happen, you know? Because if I take the time to show up and nothing happens, I get so far behind. We for sure kill that Ares. I'll tank for him. Not bad. Let's get these. Oh, what happened? Oh, Bastet DC'd? Rom beads down. Hachi got soloed. Um, I could go kill Rom, to be honest. We do fire. We do pyro. I think we can kill Ares on cooldown. We can one, we can kill Ares and Wukong. Wukong literal full damage build. So squishy. Like Wukong is so easily blown up. No, I hit it with the blicky. <laughs> <coughs> Do y'all want me peeling or diving? Obviously, Bologna is much more of a diver. But uh, if they feel like they need me peeling, then I will peel, you know? Well, we, we paused. A bit unfortunate. I'll start. I will start this up. <clears throat> I don't like having the bomb because I feel like I never use it. So someone else can take the bomb. Probably the jungler because I feel like he's going to show up and just slap. Uh, Bastet being DC'd sucks, to be honest with you. They feel like they might just surrender and this game will be like null and void. I mean, Bastet did load back in and then DC again. So maybe, maybe he's trying to get back in. Ares is mid. No idea where Rom is. I assume probably right lane still. Um, all right, Merlin and Ares are mid, which means the worst thing that can happen to me is Merlin Wukong, which I'm pretty sure I survive. So I'm just going to keep pushing up. I do want my blue buff actually though. I could gank that Rom. Perfect. He's back. Let's go, dude. That's actually hype as shit. I'm excited about that. All right, I want HP, so I'm going to hit the green thing. I'm really good. I think I can beat you. That's okay, dude. I don't really want a 1v1. Um, I'm only level 18. I really want to hit 19 before I back because I want that power spike. Yo, honestly, the Hachiman getting that kill is so massive for, for us. Nice. Do we die here, though? Because it kind of looks like we die here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. That is okay. Not really. Kind of sucks. Hello? What are you doing, gamer? They're not doing fire. 
I have so much gold, dude. But when I back, I hit such a big spike. Because I'll finish Void Shield. And I'll finish my starter item. Which gives me damage based on my own percent HP. It's basically what Animosity was. Except now it's on a defensive item. That's all it is. <clears throat> or a different defensive item, I should say. We see none of them on the map. Okay, we see Merlin Bast at mid. We maybe have to defend fire here. Everyone is playing left. Or everyone playing right. But they're all playing left. Like Rom here. Bastet's here. Hey, you guys need to be careful, dude. You can't just give up fire. We can do fire. We can do fire. Rom just TP'd. Rom literally just TP'd. Attack fire. We can do this. He just TP'd right. They're doing gold. Go, go, go. Attack. We have Thothoth. We have Thothoth secured. This should be completely free, bro. Thothoth, Thothoth, Thothoth. Let's go. Kill the series. Kill the series. Free, 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 free. All right. We're on the, we're on the, we're on the guy. 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 I'm on the rum. I'm on the rum. Let's go! Oh my god, what a play, dude. I called the fire. Let's go. <clears throat> uh, I really want to back. I'm going to back. Ward me. Ward me in. Ward me in, dude. Ward me in. We got no wards. We have no wards. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. We are wardless. Unlucky. Okay. We are wardless. All right. Huge back for me though. Axe of animosity plus void shield plus upgraded TP. Actually massive. Um, we go right lane. The right Phoenix is the best Phoenix to get because it's the furthest away from fire, which means it's the hardest to defend fire minions from. Uh, I'm pretty tanky here. 300 physical prots. So I can kind of absolutely be up in their face. We are waiting on Robin and Thoth, though. I don't want to be too crazy. Oh, dude, we attack this. That's a free kill. That's a free kill. Be careful. Oh, he got the ROM. Oh, let's go, Robin. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I'm diving on the air. He's 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 diving on the air. I'm on him. I'm on him. I'm on him. I'm on him. Free kills, free kills. I'm tanking, but Merlin hurts me, so I'm backing out. Let's go, dude. We can win game here. We can win game if we have a pick. We have no ults up, but if we get a pick here, we win game. Good stuff. I'm just on Phoenix. Acts of Animosity doing numbies. We get this Phoenix, get this Phoenix. Let's go. Uh, I don't think we win. I don't think we win here. If we got a pick, we won. But I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to dive into a Merlin. I feel like that's scary as shit. Uh, they don't need my help on that tower, so I'm just gonna just gonna farm because I really need the heart ward glyph if I want to be like fully tanky. Okay, I don't think they should be going for that fire. I, I don't think. I don't think that's a good plan at all, dude. Because we, they all just spawned and we're kind of pokeyed. Okay, wait, hold on. Nice. Did we get this bass set? No. Nice, 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 nice. I had the beads there.
I can't kill. Damn. All right. He actually he held horrific the entire fight. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> That's actually insane. <coughs> All right. So, if you're wondering why my build looks so bad, now you know why. Because my last time was going to be Heart Ward. Gives me 45 magical protection plus 15% of my physical protection as magical protection, which is 41 in this case. So, one magical defensive item gives me 90 protection. 90. I don't think we should have uh, gone in last Fio. Just gone and farmed, to be honest. My bad, though. I didn't call. I should have just called, like, getting oh, off. Because I, I, I really don't think that last Phoenix should have fallen. They just spawned. Last Fio, bad play. They, like, they had just spawned. So, diving in there when we're all half HP, they all have ults up. They all have relics up because death timers are a fucking minute long. You know, like, it's a bad, it's a bad fight for us every time. But I didn't call it because I was like, maybe, what if they do? But I, realistically, I should have just called it, you know? I've been calling every play that won us this game so far. Uh, off plus bomb fire. Do it. All right, they can't get this because we have bomb and thought all secure secured. Okay, they almost fucked it up. That is actually tragic. All right, he's gonna ult. Nice. Very nice. Move, gamer. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you, gamer. I don't care about taking any poke. Nice. Get that Titan, baby. Get that Titan, baby. There you go. Make some calls, get some doves, baby. Man, Conquest really gets the blood flowing, doesn't it? Holy shit. GG gamers. GG gamers. Oh, the cow is chasing you. I shot a cruise missile on her forehead. <laughs> Yo, this thought is funny. I like him. Yo, GG gamers, GG. What an insanely fun game, though. Like, actually, what an insanely fun game. GG, boys. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this Conquest video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Seriously, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that algorithm. Let me know if you guys want to actually see this in the future. I'm 2250 Diamond 3, uh, in case you were wondering. Um, There you go. There you go.